Right then guys, welcome back to the next video. This time it is the Phantom Spirit 120 SE versus the brand new Phantom Spirit 120 Evo. Let's see which one you should buy. Okay, this is the Phantom Spirit 120 Evo at 50% fan speed. Very quiet at 50%, you can barely hear it. Now, 100% fan speed. And that's pretty much as loud as it goes. Compared to the original Phantom Spirit, this isn't as loud. Hmm. Okay, and so this is the Phantom Spirit 120 SE. Fan noise test at 50% fan speed. And as you can tell, it's rather quiet. Now, 100% fan speed. It's audible, but not very loud. Right then, so when it comes to the Phantom Spirit 120 SE thermals for Cinebench R23, the idles are 37 with a max of 85. Blender Classroom, the idles are 37 with a max of 80. Blender BMW, the idles are 38 Celsius with a max of 81. And 3D Mark CPU test, the idles are 38 Celsius with a max of 73 Celsius. Right then, so for the Phantom Spirit 120 Evo, the Cinebench R23 idles were 32 Celsius with a max of 84. Blender Classroom, the idles are 32 Celsius with a max of 83. 
Blender BMW, the idles were 32 with a max of 81. And 3D Mark CPU test, the idles were 32 Celsius with a max of 73 Celsius. Right, okay, so look, all I'm going to say is the Phantom Spirit 120 Evo is the most up to date version and it's one of the newest coolers. So it's going to come with a premium price tag. This is where it's 50 quid. That, the Phantom Spirit, I've seen that as low as £25, but generally it stays around the £30 mark. So basically there's a few, there's a maybe one or two degree difference, but that could be a margin of error due to the ambient air did go up by one degree. So please put that into consideration. Also, the ambient air in the room was 19 Celsius at the time and it only went up by one Celsius. So please put that into consideration. And of course, that's going to, depend on where you actually live now when it comes to both of them there of course are going to be differences the evo has better fans the bearings as well as the more static pressure optimized fans also this evo is also larger as you can as you saw in the video this is about maybe i'd say an inch taller the depth isn't any different, nothing like that. The heat pipes are exactly the same. So, so mainly the major big differences is the fans and of course the new look. Now I do like the new look, but I'm not overly fond of the fans that are on the Evo because the RGB, if you don't know, I'm a very big advocate for RGB, but the RGB isn't as good as I would have thought, especially for something that costs £50 and thermal right are generally known to have very good coolers at that certain price point but both of them are around the same when it comes to thermals but uh you know when it comes to obviously the thermals that is there's not much of a huge difference of course the evo is bigger but it's only taller it doesn't mean it's thicker it's not any wider anything like that and of course then it's got the same co plate it's got the same mounting mechanism exactly the same there's no difference there the annoying fan clips, they're exactly the same. The noise test, I would say personally the Evo is a bit louder. But that's really subjective. If you don't mind loud air coolers where I do, then of course that's not really going to matter. Of course the Evo is the most latest version, like I did say. So it's going to be the one with the most up-to-date like socket. But... This one by here, the SE, does support Ryzen AM5 and it does support LJ1700. So both support the same socket currently. But obviously it's going to be up to you guys. If you guys want to buy either of them, I'll put links down below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helped you make a good buying decision. Either one will do. It just really does depend on your preference if you like one with RGB. But then again, the Phantom SE does also come with different variations, white and black with RGB. So, yeah. Look, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. I've got more stuff coming from Thermalright. I've also got stuff here from BenQ. I've got stuff coming from AOC. And I've got another cool coming from Noctua. So make sure you subscribe for that. And as always, I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend and week ahead of you. Goodbye.